Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video next match. Cross balanced cup. Still on the left side of the bracket. We have two titans versus each other. A deckless from 2018, Master Rule 4 versus um well another Master Rule 4 deck, by the way, being Orcus, PK Orcus that is. So let's take a look. We know both decklists and um well yeah, which deck has the advantage? And uh, we see uh, the votes from the people is that um Orcus seems to be preferred over Electromite Turbo, aka P pendulums um i feel why i kind of feel the same like 60 40 because um well let's face it power creep in some way even though this is pretty much one of the the most powerful pendulum builds right like electromite uh, wavering ice um astrograph saucer right? that, that's like a ridiculously powerful list um double iris at three the trap the spell uh, but but still um orcus from uh, 2019 having access to powerful hand traps we know and definitely post side deck there are the drawn log birds as well so that's something to keep in mind going first it's definitely uh, super crucial for both decks but i feel much more important for pendulums and sadly i'm going second that's a problem especially if the, um well i mean orcus is like a, this particular pk orcus built or list from back then is like super consistent as you know based Basically any two cards, two monsters equal full combo and with full combo I mean uh, having Rusty Bardish, having um, you know like your Dingirsu in the graveyard for the potential pop or, pop or double pop, uh, you know like Dingirsu getting back one of your um, banished uh, Orcus monsters, you know the, the standard combo right and that's something that um, like before the side deck this deck definitely struggles, uh, post side deck you'll be seeing it is that I'm side decking triple evenly matched the Cyclones as well. I think that's it, um, if I remember correctly, but I didn't see an option, or at least I didn't see an out here in this situation. Again, Rusty Bardish with the Dinkirsu pop and sent from Dinkirsu with the double fog blade as well. Um, the Ash Blossom, I think, in hand, and to the, the Crash. Ah, yeah, Crescendo was there as well. Uh, yeah, what, what can I do, right? Okay, so going uh, first, obviously post side tech and uh, immediately dr uh, try to drop Electromite, try to use the effect and uh, I get uh, drawled. So, um, well, Astrograph Sorcerer could be dropped but can't search anything from my deck. Uh, no draw, well, obviously, because Electromite also got negated. But um, okay, this is really not the end of the world, even though my opponent did have like two hand traps. So I opt to go for another Electromite and I think this was the... the best ending fields i'm a bit cautious the ending field that i could end on with like or being uh was it blossom blossom or failure and uh drolled as well so norito basically negates any spell or trap from your opponent once per turn that feels okay not that well okay it could be good i mean if your opponent has like instant fusion for some or something like that so preventing the thousand ice restrict from hitting the field that's again quite crucial but uh, the Ibli could be a problem, even though I still have Deco Talker in my extra deck. So if your opponent or even the opponent is not able to get through, uh, you know, burn through my field, I could still potentially go for Deco Talker during main phase one to, you know, get rid of Ibli and still have my Pendulum summon life. Norito actually survives, and uh, that helps out because I think there's only, um, or at least we know there is a Crescendo set. Uh, oh yeah, was it Ghost Ogre that indeed got rid of the um, the Link Two? Yeah, I think so. So, uh, yeah, this should be my duel, right? Uh, one of the, uh, at least uh, thanks to Electromite, I was able to, you know, get a search, uh, draw eventually as well. So put up Deco Talker for the extra, extra monster zone. Uh, eventually we'll be using the Pendulum Graph spell as well. Wasn't that crucial to, uh, you know, like search it before. Most importantly, get out Ignister and, you know, Ignister should uh, clean uh, the board, right? Um... Yeah, it just, yeah, purple poison gets destroyed, so getting rid of the field spell, although it doesn't really matter too much. Um, but but yeah, I think that the fog blade was uh, in the graveyard, so it was important to get rid of the rusty bardish. So again, three, and um, I'm going second, and I see my opening, and I was like, okay, cyclone is definitely good. If my opponent does opt to go for the orcus field spell, to go for Babel or Babel, um, to, you know, prevent my opponent from using the orcus monsters during my turn, and that's that's crucial, prevent your opponent from rusty bardishing, or or, you know, Dengrisu during my turn. Uh, so again, full combo for Orcus, and that's scary. Uh, because my hand, okay, there is the potential Electromite play. But again, I am, I'm staring down against potential Double Fog Blade, right? So <laughs> getting off an Electromite, is, it's not going to happen unless my sixth card is, you know, like, like helpful. Uh, Joker will probably get Fog Blade as well. We know there's a Crescendo, so... 
again this feels quite similar to the first tool so <laughs> I'm not <laughs> it's not looking too great um, unless well of, obviously uh, yeah uh, that, that was I was saying is obviously I wanted to cosmic cyclone the, the crescendo and if you know like like the sixth card I think there is no uh, lightning storm so I think evenly matched was the, the the card to hit there and I do hit it and I was like ooh, oh I could make like a very nice comeback but sadly not because of imperial order from all the cards you know like cyclone the crescendo and then um, evenly match the entire board fog blade will probably st uh, still stay up face up on the field but you know I, I have enough follow a place with like the what is it called it, it's uh, not, not cho yeah choker obviously but the other one that special summons itself from your uh, pendulum scales yeah you know which one I mean Anyway, so game number four. Okay, going first, uh, going again for Electromite, get Blossom, but a Veiler would be so terrible here, but I think I have to go for it. Uh, no Veiler, no effect negation. Ash Blossom is already activated, so I'm sure to get a, you know, like a search off of my Pendulum Graph spell even... Oh, it doesn't really matter, right? Like, due to chain blocking. But most importantly, Wisdom I eventually gets a search, get a, well, search, like, you know, like, uh, adds or, or activates something in my Pendulum scale. Go for a huge Pendulum summon, and this should be my duel already, right? Uh, I can go for the, <laughs> the old school um, Venom, right? I, I think it's the name, banned for a good reason, because it's far too powerful. Um, going for Absolute as well, dropping Deco Talker, dropping Vortex also. Omega uh, had a couple of options, Tornado Dragon, probably not. To, and that's the thing is this deck is not playing dweller imagine dweller dweller is like like almost instant game against orcas but sadly there is no dweller in the extra deck but um, yeah okay omega to get rid of at least one potential answer from my opponent and uh, eventually it does work out maxi uh, call by the grave but again call by the grave will just get negated by vortex so we are going into a game number five but going second and i see my uh, my hand and i see like um, uh, ghost ogre ghost ogre is good um evenly matched as well so i'm like okay i still have a chance if it wasn't for evenly matched i <laughs> it would have been very close. There is still Ogre, right? Depends if your opponent is playing into an Ogre. So Bardish hits the board. There is still Ogre in my hand. And again, again, basically full combo for Orcist. Um, Galatea again hits the board. And indeed, Galatea is using her effect. Um, trying to get search. I believe the field spell was search. So we know the Orcus monsters can again, you know, be uh, at least can be used during my turn. But uh, we know there is no crescendo set. Uh, I think so, right? Double Fog Blade was searched. So again, Battle Face and... Um, as I've talked about uh, previously, uh, indeed, yeah, the, the Fog Blade is the last card, and that I think was a good play. Um, again, so the, the Electromite is obviously going to get negated by the Fog Blade, and that's crucial because now I have to pass. Uh, but there's still, you know, the double Iris, but that's basically it, right? Oath wasn't able to activate, and I'm like, okay, I probably already uh, lost this duel. So Ibli hits the board, Phoenix hits the board, popping one of my scales. Phoenix draws, and this is actually, I think, the most terrible draw you could have in, in this situation is that um, the, the Nightmare, I believe, was the only a target left for, um, um, you know, for Hard Horror to special summon from the deck, since the level 3 is out of the deck. Uh, one of the Nightmares is already banished, so again, you, there is no Orcus left in the deck, so Harp Horror in the graveyard cannot activate, so the, the game state cannot be progressed in case here of PK Orcus. So now the opponent just has to pass, and I can definitely cap it. Well, I, I'm lucky. <laughs> I'm definitely very, very lucky here, drawing the, the low scale being the purple poison. So this way I can put up the pendulum summon and, I'm honest, steal the victory, I guess? Um, as I mentioned before, like before the duel, it felt like 60-40 in favor of PK Orcus, but um, I mean PK Orcus somewhat unlucky here drawing the, the, the Nightmare, the Orcus Nightmare here. Uh, basically again the last target for, you know, Harp Horror to special summon from the deck, so that's how it is. I guess going for Phoenix to get another pop. I mean, we know, right? I mean, getting a free plus, Ibli being at one card Nightmare uh, play, so... It's it's just tough luck, tough luck for for Orcus. But um, okay, uh, Pendulous moves on to the top four. Next matchup again, a crucial one, <laughs> a big one. Dragon Invoked versus Salomon Grades. Feel free to leave your prediction. Okay, guys, this is it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.